Good afternoon, folks. Yuba Activist and Adventure Network here, Zach Cross. So today I'm coming from you out here in unincorporated Sutter County. And uh, it's been a while since I talked to you, my neighbors, since the uh, town hall where we got to hear a bunch of, uh, well, a bunch of talking heads, as many of you called it. Man, September was a rough month. I had my best friend lose his mind and pull a gun on me and suffering major health problems. I was suffering pneumonia, including when I came to your town hall. And uh, he was sick before the pneumonia. So, uh, good news, I'm off Red Bull. If you want to give up energy drinks, the time when you have pneumonia and you're trying to work through that is the time because when you get done with pneumonia, you feel like you got a lot of energy anyway. You don't go through the withdrawals. Anyway. Back to what I had to say, tomorrow we're going to be out in Sutter gathering signatures. And uh, pretty much we want you to help us get this initiative qualified for you. As you heard, Sutter County doesn't have any real plan unless they get that penny tax. And Yuba City doesn't seem to be very happy with the optics that the county bought up Kmart right in the middle of town for $8 million crying broke now for tax dollars on top of trying to put more uh, homeless stuff in there before that and now trying to sell it in some lot to uh, Habitat for Humanity is what I heard through the grapevine. Whether that's true all the way or not, I don't know, but uh, they don't seem to be happy. I don't think that Sutter County is gonna get its penny tax with the raises and that Kmart building. I don't think many of you want that. So it's important that we qualify this and give as many of you in an unincorporated Sutter County the ability to make your own choice by putting this on the ballot. I saw a lot of your town politics. I'm not about that out here. I've got enough of that on my side of the river. What I don't want to happen to you guys is though, I don't want you to have to live through the stuff that us up there in wildfire country do. You know, uh, hopefully they get you guys some water tenders to help out with that problem. Like I suggested at that meeting, even old uh, Ziggy Ziggemeyer uh, football talk, no action, no, uh, substance talk basically uh you know complimented me thank you for that mike but uh you know you guys need options and somebody suggested you guys tax warehouse buildings with a separate initiative i'll come help you guys gather signature for that but something mike said to me and the rest of us at that meeting bothered me it does seem like he's really trying to cater to his clients for his private business the farmers and I'm with you farmers. I've proven that time and time again that I stand with you even above my own desires of cannabis. And, uh, but when he said most of the buttes is not farmable, it got me thinking as every fire, you know, when you live through several and you stay there while it's record breaking fire all around you, the mountains burning around you, watching the fire dance in destructive, terrorizing craziness. It reminded me these buttes caught on fire when I was suffering some wildfire of my own up there where I was at. And uh, that cost $18 million. So all I can say is, please farmers, try to consider. All it's gonna take is one right north blowing wind, north wind system to come through here the wrong time of the year, like right now, pre-wildfire season, and you see all this dying uh, or dry rice that's ready to be harvested. You see how brown the buttes are right there? You guys also own that. Maybe Sutter County wouldn't be in this mess, and I like the people who, uh, you know, that's why I'm not gonna mention their name. I met one of their relatives, probably one of the best county employees on my side of the river I've ever seen. And uh, out of respect, I'm not even gonna bring that up, but, um, you know, please don't act like it doesn't cost anything to have farmers where you guys shouldn't be paying. And it's going to be a lot cheaper if you guys are left without a farming, uh, a working fire station out here. It's going to cost your teammates, your workers, limbs sometimes because they've got to wait extra time for, you know, first responders. It's going to cost uh, a, a lot if, say, one of your farms does catch on fire and you can't get insurance, which is looking more and more probable everywhere in California. Uh, you know, you're going to be on the hook for the whole town. So this is stuff to think about. And I know about that if you're not able to get wildfire insurance, you're on the hook because that's what we were facing on the community service board up there in Brownsville. So 
it's not like I'm talking out of my head or the side of my neck like your politicians. I'm telling you as a neighbor, please come support this. I think they're going to have some people set up over there by Catlett Hall uh, at the pool or the ball field somewhere in there gathering signatures. We're going to be walking for you guys. If some of you can take some of these initiatives from us and just walk your neighborhood, it would all add up, you know. Uh, because Liz Cervantes was kind and tried to make things better for the farmers, which looks like on their end was a ruse to try to conquer and divide. I mean, it seems like some of the people we started with, Steve Smith, attaboy, compliments them and some supervisors, and they're new to this. They might be older than me and older than a lot of you guys who are gonna have to vote and qualify this initiative, but they're new to the real game of politics because they have been busy working and raising children like many of you are. I understand this. I've seen it. I've been played like that by these fools before. But make no mistake, you guys are going to suffer if this doesn't qualify and you guys get the chance to pass it. Because with the fools you have at the dais up there at your supervisor hall, giving themselves and staff raises and buying an eight and a half million dollar pile of garbage Kmart building, the optics aren't good to Yuba City, especially, you know, being you're going to need most of them to even pass a one cent tax. How many of you are even going to vote to tax yourselves more? It's sad. This rice doesn't even go here. It's not even going to touch it. Sadly, the farmers are going to have to raise their prices a little bit. But you know what? Most of this rice doesn't even get sold here. Most of these crops don't get sold here. It's passing it on to people who don't even live here. If you support this fire initiative and if you do a warehouse initiative in the same way, you know, I don't know. I think that might affect people more local. So try to figure out something equitable, just like Liz did the farmers that are still complaining and would still rather see your town burn, just like Mike Ziegemeyer, because he won't even entertain cannabis, just like somebody brought up at that meeting without me there. Like I said, I was suffering pneumonia. I had to leave early. I wish I would have been there to see Mike's face. Uh, you guys got a lot of choices. I'm just here as your neighbor trying to keep your your home from burning down like like many of my neighbors and some vested interest to, you know in in my own life and uh liz is trying to be a good neighbor for you she's going through a lot of hell just trying to save fire so god bless you all see you out tomorrow thanks for watching